Prayer is the pillar of Islam. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Prayer is the pillar of religion. This is in Al-Bahaqi. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Islam is on five pillars. To testify there is no God but Allah and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger and slave. To establish prayer, to pay zakah, to perform hajj, to the secret house and to fast in the month of Ramadan. Everybody knows this hadith. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. And ya bunyanun islam ala khamsin. Shahadata an la ilaha illallah. Wa anna muhammad rasulullah. Wa ikhamu salata wa ibai zakata wa alhajja wa sawmi ramadan. These are the five pillars of Islam. The hadith makes the image very clear. Islam is like a building supported by five columns. Remove just one column, the entire building will collapse. So if it's strong uh, bound, you know, that the building will be strong, the pillars has to be strong. And one of the strongest pillars can make the big building and the stronger, uh, you know, uh, the whole building will be strong. So here, this is in Muslim, really between men and between polytheism, is unbelief is the negligence of prayer. Baina rajuli wa baina shark wal kufi tarkus salat. If you do tarkus salat, like you know, you are neglecting prayer, and that is the difference between a mu'min and a mushrik or a kafir. So don't neglect prayer. So this statement, if you look at the people walking down the road, it may be difficult to distinguish. Muslims and non-Muslims, Islam is not marked upon a believer forehead. Neither is kufr stamped on anyone. But at the time of prayer, you can separate the two groups with ease. The believers will abandon his work, his business to join the roles of Muslims in the prayer. While the disbelievers will carry on with the worldly affairs. Surah al mudaffir and it says uh, what has caused you to enter hell? They will say we were not of those who used to offer their prayers, nor we used to feed the poor. And we used to talk falsehood that which Allah hated with the vain talkers. And we used to belie the day of recompense until there came to us the death that is certain. So here, what caused you to enter fire? Ma salakum fi sakar. And they said, they will wear not of those who used to pray. Qalu lam lakum minal musalleen. They were not praying. And what else they were not doing? Walam lakum not imul miskin. They were not feeding the miskin. Poor people. And what else they were doing? Wa kunna nakuddu ma'al qa'idin. And uh, not only that, we used to talk falsehood and that which Allah hated. And Bakunna Nukazibu Biyomidin and we used to belie Nukazibu is from Kazi Biyomidin, they denied the day of judgment. Hatta Adan al Yaqeen until they came to us death. That is it. So because of this they denied it, they didn't pray, they didn't have the yaqeen of going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prayer is like a fortress. Have you seen fortress, how it will be? So prayer is the basis of all good actions. Below uh, here, some of the Quranic uh, uh, verses, Surah Al-Mu'minun, that is Surah number 23, Ayah number 1 to 11, Qad aflaha al Muminun. الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِيهِ صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Successful indeed are the believers, those who offer their salah. خَاشِعُونَ With solemnly and full submissiveness. How they submissive? With خَاشِعُونَ With the khasha. And وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ لَغْوِ مُورِدُونَ And those who turn away from love. Means dirty, false, even, vague talk, falsehood, and all that Allah has forbidden. 
وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِلزَّكَاةِ فَعَيْلُونَ And those who pay zakah. And what else they do? وَالَّذِينَ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِذُونَ And those who guard their chastity, means private parts from illegal sexual intercourse. إِلَّا عَلَىٰ أَزْوَاجِهِمْ أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرَ مَلُومِينَ Except from their wives or the captives and the slaves that their right hand possess for them, they are free from blame. But whoever seeks bounty, but who are seeks beyond that, then those are the transgressor. Here, فَمَنْ اتَّغَى وَرَاءُ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَيْكَ حُمُ الْأَعْدُونَ But those who seek bound beyond that, those who are transgressor, those and what else they do? And after that, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَأَحْدِهِمْ رَعُونَ Those who are faithfully true to their trust and to their covenants. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ أَلَى سَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِزُونَ What else they do? And those who strictly guard their salah. They are guarding their salah. What is that? Five compulsory salah. And if they fix time in the proper way, not in the hasty manner, in the proper way. And what else? Al-lazina yarifuna al-firdausa hum fi khalidun. So what is the end result? Allah is giving these indeed are the inheritors. Because it says yarifuna who shall inherit the firdos, they shall dwell therein forever. They are permanent president of Jannah. They will be there and abide forever and ever. And there is one more reference, Surah Al-Ma'arij, Ayah number 19 to 35. This is Surah number 70. Allah says, Verily man, this believer was created very impatient. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ قُلِقُ الْحَلُوَىٰ Irritable, discontent, then evil touches him and negatively then good touches him except those devoted to salah, those who remain constant in their salah and those who hold, well, there is a known right for the beggars who ask and for the unlucky who, have, who lost their property and wealth, and this means living has been strained. And those who fear the torment of their rub, the torment of the rub before which none can feel secure, and those who guard their chastity means again here mentioned about private parts and not doing the illegal sexual intercourse except with their wives. Again, the same thing mentioned here women, slaves, and captives whom they right hand poses for them. They are not to be blamed by those who seek beyond that. Then it is those who are trespass and those who keep their trust and covenant. They keep their trust and covenant. And not only that, and those who stand firm in their testimonies. And, and those who guard their salah. Again, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ يَشْهَدُونَ قَائِمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ أَلَىٰ سَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِذُونَ They guard their salah. How we guard the salah? You know, not doing hasty, hastiness in the salah, doing with the proper sujood, proper ruku, proper manner, doing the correct wudu. What do you mean by correct? Like, you know, doing the proper wudu, saying Bismillah, and the way, the method, how Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi taught us. And not only that, doing salah on time. And you know, salah stops with the fahisha and munkar. It stops from the bad things. If you are not stopping yourself, it means that you are not guarding your salah. Salah should stop from all the bad and evil. If it is not, then something is lacking. Check your salah. Whether you are doing it on time or not. Whether your clothes are clean. Whether your heart is clean. Whether khushu is there or not. Whether wudu is proper or not, everything we have to check ourselves. Such shall dwell in the gardens of paradise. Ulaika fi jannatin mukramun. Their firdos here mukramun. 
but they did half his own. You have his own. They guard their salah and they did following things. And in these uh, ayahs, they, they have you know, certain characteristics, the first of which uh, they concentrate on the salah. That is so important. And they avoid vain and vulgar activities. They pay the zakah. They guard the chastity. Avoid illicit relations. The uh, marital lives are confined to their wives and slaves. Because assuming such a situation exists in which the presence of slaves is justified. You know, that was the exception during that time. But right now it's not. Those who do not betray covenants and trust. Those who stand by the testimonies. And after mentioning this five characteristic regularly in prayer, once again commanded from Suratul Ma'arij and Suratul Muminun, and we learn that how they guard the chastity, how they guard the prayer, how they pay the zakat, how they feed the poor, and uh, not only that, they don't speak love. Prayer is the pillar of the religion. So the first thing about which a man is going to be questioned on the day of judgment is Salah, prayer. If it is found to be sound, all his other action will be sound. If his prayer is not sound, all his remaining action would be spoiled. And this is in Tabrani. So this we were talking about what is what, the pillar of Islam? And the pillar of Islam, we discuss about how salah is important. This is so important. And the next thing, inshallah, we'll discuss in the next class.